Shorty fast, slim thick, she my drug, she my fix, and I all up in her mix. She be mixing with the ribs, she the plug, she finesse. to slay another look so you guys probably have already seen this on my instagram this look is a dark purple or a purple ombre look really perfect in time right before halloween i had to drop this so um in my crease i'm basically placing that purple shadow that's in the um juvia's place zulu palette as you guys know this palette doesn't have any shade names i wish it did because that would be so easier for me to, to tell you guys but it's just the purple shade in a juvia's place palette so next i'm going in underneath my brow and basically putting a highlight shade i think i put the purple shade out of the beach cosmetics black light highlight palette i don't know the name of it off the top of my head but of course it will be down in the description bar so i'm going back in and just blend blend that purple shadow out and then i think i put something a little darker in the crease i don't remember yeah i put something a little darker in the crease and then um i go in and start beginning to place the shades on my lid course I have to cut my crease because y'all guys know I don't got no lid space so I'm cutting my crease with the same thing I cut my crease with all the time really I could speed up through this part but I was gonna talk about why I ended up cutting my crease so I ended up using about three or four different shadows on my lid and um I had a hard time deciding if I want to fully cut my crease all the way across or just half cut it. So I ended up half cutting it. I love the results at the end, but I was just really confused because I wanted to make sure every shadow, you know, got their shine in this look. And even though I have cut it, I still feel like you were still able to get the full effect of this look. I loved how it turned out in the end. So yeah, I just wanted to talk a bit about that part. But it's the same old, same old when it comes to me cutting my crease. So now you see me grabbing that Fix Plus Pink Light and I'm spraying it all over my brush and I'm starting to go on with that first, it's like a whitish pinkish shade in the subculture palette. Like I said, I'll list it down below because I don't know the name, but when I first got this palette, it was one of the first shades I fell in love with. I just think that is so dope. So I'll be just spraying my brush and going in um, with shimmer shades now and this one is the that lavender shade from the My Little Pony and ColourPop collection and I mix it with that purple shimmer shade in the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. Then I go in with another purple eyeshadow from a shimmer palette by Profusion and then to end off the colors I go in with another color from Sexy Lips Cosmetics that I show you guys. Like I said, I'm up really late and I'm doing this voiceover so I don't know everything off the top of my head but like I said everything will be in the description bar
So this won't be a tutorial of mine if it wasn't some glitter in it, of course. So I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer and the glitter today that I will be using is the Trick or Treat Glitter from Rebel Glitter Goddess Makeup. Yes, this glitter is so lit. It's like a dark purple, but it has hints of green and it's super fall. So I put that on the end of my um, crease, will cut crease pretty much because I have a dark purple here. And this time I didn't want to go glitter overload because I still wanted the purple ombre to, you know, show out. And I also uh, went and had bought a metallic purple liner from Wet n Wild. And I ended up lining my eyes with that. I mean, you probably guys can't really see because the purple liner ends up fading into the look. But that's fine because that's basically how I wanted it to be. So we're back with a full face slayed. Um, okay, so as you guys know, I usually just finish up on camera. So I go in under my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I can't even lie to you guys and tell you guys what eyeshadows I end up putting underneath my eyes. So I guess we just gonna have to watch because I don't even remember. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking that same shade from the ABH palette. Oh my god, I forget the name of the shade, but I freaking love this shade. Like I said, it's like a white. It looks white, but when you pick it up, it has a pink iridescence. It's like a dual chrome eyeshadow. no need for me to talk through that that's the usual lash cocktail but anywho so i'm using the l'oreal lumi gold or glow um highlight palette i got this from influencer um now it is for sale i had was able to try it out before it released so shout out to influencer if you guys aren't for sure or know what influencer is is basically um a service where you can try out products before they release to the market you can get sent makeup products hair products etc um so i don't even know the name but it's shades in this thing but i'm mixing like the peachy the bronzy the gold and like the sand or champagne kind of color so lastly for today for lips we're trying something i've never ever done before I decided to do a black and purple ombre lip and you guys you guys get to see my reactions here as I'm creating it so I first go in with the liquid suede colors um, sway I actually could have left it with this color it would have been perfectly fine but I wanted to try something new and I actually really really love this color I have a lot of colored lipsticks i just tend not to wear them so of course i have to go over with my cody airspun powder and make sure that's matte because since it's a liquid suede it doesn't really dry down and get super matte so yeah i forget if i go on i think i go on with the lime crime yes i go on with the lime crime velveteen and black velvet next so here is where it got a little crazy where i started dotting how it was going to turn out was when I started putting that black liquid lipstick around. I don't know, like, I just really hated that trend in the 90s with the dark black lipstick. Nobody wears that. That shit is not cute. So I was just like, oh my God, if this don't turn out right, I'm going to be so pissed. 
but like you guys will see at the end of this clip like the face i start making because it's literally hilarious like even watching back like when i was doing it it was hilarious but i had went off camera and i did like some more blending and i added some more shades and stuff and i finally got it right and so now i'm adding my glosses and i put on one of the urban decay uh new lip gloss that had came out and i'm topping my lips with royalty from sexy lips cosmetic and yes we have a lip look Throw 